What's going on guys? I'm the Maha Mechanic and today we're going to be putting a aftermarket ECU into our uh, Honda Element. So let's get into it. So as you can tell, this thing is turboed and with all turbo setup comes a ECU. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to install this one from K-Tuner. This is an end, end user system and uh, basically just takes the um, original ECU and adds this little chip up in the top corner over there um, and that allows us to tune it. So yeah, let's get started. So first step is going to be to remove the glove box here because our ECU sits kind of like right behind in there and to do that we have these little catch clip things to keep the uh, glove box from coming all the way down. Um, you just want to pinch these clips in and then uh, you'll be able to pop this bad boy out and the glove box should come right out. So yeah, just these two, pinch them in on both sides and flop the glove box down. So with the uh, glove box out of the way, you can see right here is our ECU. And uh, we're gonna wanna get that thing out of there. So to do that, we're gonna move all these wires so just kind of push these clips in to move this whole bunch of wires out of the way and uh, give us more room to get to the ECU. So down here we have a, on the very bottom, gray port, then a white port, two blank holes, and then a big white port at the top. Just unplug all these, just like so. Push them all away. Now we have mounting bolts back there, as you can see. One right there. Um, and there might be one back here. Maybe. Uh, just want to remove those. Oh, there's one up here as well. Just remove those and it should come out. So now that you've got all the bolts removed, start the process of trying to wiggle this bad boy on out of here. You have to move this harness out of the way somewhere, but wiggle this on out. All right, so now that we got this one out, it takes, it takes a little bit of finagling. I removed this clip here that holds this wiring harness in and kind of just pushed it out of the way and I was able to barely sneak it over top. But now we need to set up our new one. Ouch. Uh, and to do that, see this little hole right there? We're gonna wanna plug our connector into the board here, run the wire through that hole um, so that we can actually talk to the ECU. So yeah, let's get that uh, casing off and get that plugged in. All right, now before we get this in, I'll show you guys, plug in our little wire there and now we have a lead coming out that hole and we're eventually gonna plug that into a laptop. But same way as it came out, just put it back in. Easier said than done, right? So. Little mechanic trick people use. They put some toilet paper on the end of the socket and then they put the nut, push it on to the toilet paper and it'll hold it in there so that it doesn't fall out while you try to get to a stud that's all the way back where you can't even see. So yeah. So we've got everything in there all back together. Um, all tightened down, got every all these back in. Big white wire, big white plug on the top, medium on the bottom, and then gray on the very bottom. And yeah. So now we get to load up a, a base map tune on uh, our K-Tuner software. I'll show you how to do that. All right, once you got the K-Tuner stuff up, you wanna go file, new tune. And it's going to bring up a, a list. Go down to K24A4, 03 to 06 element. And we're going to go factory manual base calibration, the first one here. And we're going to hit next. And then, and then it'll do something. There we go. Now we have a base map loaded up. 
All right, first start. If you found this video informative, please be sure to like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter experience or your skill level, keep on improving.